uh, Lorraine Knight and I was a councillor at the time and I remember the big meeting that we had um, when <coughs> this was first discussed and it was quite lively, very lively I would say and a lot of councillors really weren't that sure that this was the type of thing or work of art that we could have on the key but um, I know Tom Roberts very well as a councillor and Tom and I um, were quite favourable to having uh, public works of art and I supported this 100% and I still do when I know that uh, it's still controversial but it's very good. I, th I think actually that at that particular time um, public work awareness wasn't, wasn't there. You know, I mean, we've had the controversy with the Angel of the North, and now it's a tourist attraction. You know, and I, 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 that's what I think is it the the general public and the councillors who didn't want to go against the public. Um, I think that they were a bit sceptic about putting their feet in the water and going for it. And I know that talking to Tom, he had lots of other support for other public works of art around the borough. <coughs> And it's a shame they never took it out. Tom, which Tom I know had in his in his head mm. to do. He, he, he showed me some I thoughts on paper, body. It would have been terrific. Mm. I think it possibly is, but whether whether tourists see it as a, as a work of art or whether they just see it as a as a viewing platform, mm. um, that I don't know. Very important. I mean, art establishes. It establishes a nation, doesn't it? And it establishes a town. You know, if you've got nothing, then you are nothing. But if you're prepared to, to put something like um, sea music up or anything else, people can identify with it, providing it's marketed a little bit better. Well, not that I can remember. It, go, went, it went through the, the sort of general planning process, and, and, <clears throat> and I, um, that can, can take a whatever time it can take. But I do remember the, the meeting that we had when the councillors were um, really given the proposal to do it, you know. And um, comments like, uh, scrap metal, why do we need that area, you know. It's going to be built over a pumping station and we would have to get rid of it to, you know, to do the maintenance on the pumping station and stuff like that. So there was, there was all that sort of controversy going about. But gradually, you know, things were turned around and, um, and it was supported, possibly reluctantly by, by some, but it got through and, and that's the main thing. And it's here now. And it's here now. 25 years later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.